What was the name of that show? It was called Frisk. No. It was called What? Hello, Andrew Rander. We're at the Second Stage Theater, Uptown version, about to see American Hero. It's a show about three up-and-coming sandwich artists whose lives are turned upside down when something happens. When I was telling Andrew about the show, I said it takes place in a sandwich shop. Because of all the site-specific theater that's been happening recently, I was convinced this was going to take place in an actual sub shop. The story concerns aspiring subway artists who are trying to find their way in a post-recession world and maximize the mixture of mustard and mayo. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of sandwiches. Ari Grainer's in this. Uh, Which actually, I loved her in Doubt. No, not Doubt. It was called Trust. Oh, Trust. Yes. I loved her in Trust. She was great in Trust. Jerry O'Connell is in this as well. Jerry, uh, yes. Jerry O'Connell. Uh, the last saw him in Seminar. We came all the way up to 76th and Broadway. This better be worth it to see American Hero. I hope it's a filling experience. Uh, show's out. And yeah, it's about three sandwich artists, and when their boss mysteriously disappears, they have to fend for themselves in the tough landscape of sandwich selling. It started off with a really good start. Like the first 30 minutes or so would highly entertaining, it was funny. It really captured the culture of fast food. The first half of it is great. It's like any fast food or junk food. When you, when you first start eating it, you're like, this is great. And then after a while you're like, oh, what am I doing to my body? It's deliriously anti-corporate culture, anti-cookie cutter culture. Unfortunately, what happens is that it's a very one-note script. It's not nuanced. There's no subtlety about it. Also, the writer wants to be Sarah Rule with that surprise, weird dream sequence. So it starts off very grounded in the world of, you know, mass culture America. It takes a silly twist, but it's like, guys, our mass culture is silly enough without a dream sequence. It really wants to be a biting indictment of capitalism, but it comes across as if a Republican had the idea to write a left-wing play mm -hmm. that actually makes the left-wing people look stupid. And be like, hey guys, you know what? Actually, capitalism is super cool. What's that term they say? You're one sandwich short of a picnic? Oh my God. I think in this case, there are yes. five sandwiches short of a picnic. That being said, I feel as though the ingredients, primarily the actors, uh, had some really memorable moments. There are some fantastic monologues slash diatribes where, where people really get a chance to shine. Um, Great acting all around. I think the fault lies in the script. You know what, though? The set was pretty good. I like the set Oh, a lot. and you know what's weird? There was a moment where I almost started to cry. Yeah. There was this one moment. It was moving. There were moments. There were moments. Uh, I really wanted to like this show, but I have to say Red Light. Yeah, Red Light too. Uh, two Red Lights Ooh. for American Hero. Ooh. 